7 p.m. if you'll join me for our opening prayer and pledge. Lord, we are meeting today to conduct matters of business, guide our hearts and our minds in the spirit of fairness, right thought, and speech, impart your supreme wisdom upon our activities so that our affairs may reach a successful conclusion. Thank you for being our source of guidance today. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, guys. We'll move to approval of the agenda. If we can, get an addition for new business item three for election of officers. Any additional notes? Motion to approve as amended. Second. First and a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you, guys. Move to citizens' comments we have any citizens comments tonight <laughs> thank you sir we'll go to approval of the minutes from the December 10th 2019 meeting motion to approve second first Burks second blade any discussion all in favor aye, aye. aye. opposed we'll move into new business item one Request for rezoning the courtyard on Westview, 1.21 acres, property located at 7112 Westview Drive, map 69, parcel 58. Current zoning commercial general. Request for RM12 multifamily residential. Property represented by Adam Crunk. Mr. Jenkins, if you will, read our staff comments for me. Sir. Applicant has requested RM8 zoning. The future land use map indicates RM8 as a possible zoning under a pod for this parcel and shows parcels across Westview Drive as possible RM8 zoning. Staff sees this zoning as fitting for future use. Thank you, sir. We have representation here. Thank you, sir. Mr. Crunk, you have any additional details or anything you want to say? Thank you, sir. Was it approved before under commercial? Was that? Thank you, sir. Does anyone have any questions for the applicant? Uh, Mr. Sullivan, is this coming in as a as a pod? Uh, currently, this is not coming in as a pod. Uh, for the land use, which is why I had mentioned that, uh, the, the land use mentions the RM8 as being a pod at the same time, roughly, that this development was brought in. The first time the commercial on the back side was built, so it was not together as a pod, but it did kind of come at the same time. But as well, across the road is uh, RM8 for future land use. And that's why we did make note that we see it as fitting, uh, but that those are the notes that were in the 2040 plan for that. And Craig just clarified, it's asking for a rezoning of RM8 right now. If there was to, if it was to be subdivided into Different things we'll see the we'll see the proposal when it comes right now is just the rezoning. That's correct. You'll also see the <coughs> plan for the building uh, once that comes forward because that's gonna be a long family building that that will come before planning commission at that time. Thank you, sir. Any additional questions? Anyone like to make a motion? If 
you could just make sure your mic's on for me. I make a motion that we approve. Second, second. motion. So we have a motion for positive recommendation. Anderson, second. Jenkins. Any additional discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you, Mr. Crump. Move to item two. Request for rezoning DCR Fairview Project 5.89 acres, property located on Highway 96 North, map 18, parcel 10, current zoning RS40, single family residential, request for industrial general, property owned by BVM Investments. Good. Okay. Well, sir, if you could just state your name for me. Thank you, sir. No staff comments. Do you have any comments on um, on the future land use plan for this parcel? Sir, and staff would give it a, a positive recommendation best off that. Yeah. What are the zonings on either side of it? And that big parcel is, is part of the gin farm, is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. And so they own thousands of acres all around that, that interchange there. Gin farm. the new gas station, the flash market, or, you know. It is RS40 uh, yep. for the <laughs> parcel 13. So most of that area there by the interstate is uh, RS40. That's what it just came in as? That's what everything came in as uh, for that area. The zoning was changed and then accepted in 09 is when we have our zoning map, and there's a lot of how is what is that to the right of it i i couldn't get this map to open it's up a i was backyard access. backyard burgers gas station oh, okay mm -hmm. yeah. okay and that's one note i have uh, for one of my comments i sent off the link in the agenda for staff comments those didn't work i realized <laughs> i didn't Micah, just for clarification, the future land use map has this listed as industrial general. It seems like, if I recall, that was more commercial general um, it's, mixed use. It's called like map. the commercial interchange district, but industrial is one of the uses listed um, as part of that color. Okay. For example, what kind of a business could go into this uh, as industrial general? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. A rehearsal? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. 
And and same thing to be true when it comes to it would go through there's a design process requirements and things for an industrial. So we would see it, we would see the facade, we would see the building as they submitted what they planned. Make a motion for a positive recommendation. Second. First by Burks, second by Qualls. Any additional discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mr. Jones. All right, we will go to item three, a new business, election of the officers for the 2020 calendar year. We will start at the chairman position. We'll accept applications, nominations, and then vote from there and work our way down. I nominate Brandon Butler. Second. Any additional nominations for the chairman position? All in favor of Brandon Butler for the chairman <laughs> position? <laughs> Aye. 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 Opposed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. We'll go to vice chairman. Any nominations for the vice chairman position? How about Mike Anderson? Second. Mike Anderson, any other nominations? Thanks. It's kind of, we got ourselves a little. Like, <laughs> <out here. laughs> so we've got a nomination for Jenkins. Do we have a second? Second. Any additional nominations? I guess the best vote would be by show of hands. Would that be the easiest way? So we'll start with Anderson. Show of hands. <laughs> Five, and then show of hands for Mr. Jenkins. Okay, congratulations, Ms. Anderson. We'll go to first secretary position, which was formerly Mr. Anderson. Take nominations. Yep, it was a uh, five to four. Five to four. Yes, yeah. Nominate Mr. Jenkins. Second. We have a nomination for secretary for Mr. Jenkins. Any other nominations? <coughs> All in favor of Mr. Jenkins? Aye. 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 Oppose? Congratulations. You get Thank to sign you. more stuff now. Yeah. And now we have. Does answer. anybody have a position they would like to? <laughs> now we run have for? Uh, a second secretary. Mr. Mr. Cali now sits in that position, the second secretary. Nominate Mr. Cali. Second. Any other nominations? All in favor of Mr. Cali for <laughs> second secretary? No. Aye. <laughs> Any opposed? Congratulations, Mr. Cali. Aye. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> We will now go, no old business, no bonds, Daddy, Daddy. reports for discussion and information. Staff, Mr. Sullivan. Care of training and travel and so forth. 
late every other month, if not a little bit more often, a work session just for training, uh, and getting some clarification stuff, working through any issues, anything that you as a commission would like to see changed in our regulations. Times like that that we can not make decisions but have good discussions on where we are, where what we're doing, why things are the way they are. Thank you, sir. City Attorney, Mr. Potter. It's recorded, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go to communications from the Planning Commission members. Commissioner Burks. Uh, just Happy New Year and really appreciate all the work everybody did last year. Uh, we got a lot of accomplished. It may not feel like it sometimes, but when you go back and look what all we did, it was, it was quite a bit of work. So thank you very much for all the effort and time y'all put in. Um, and. Mr. Sullivan, I think to clarify, I don't think we were ever part-time employees. I think that maybe the payment went as though it was, but we never actually were. So we won't clarify no, that. Not part, but that's how it went through. Through the. the from, I believe, so. Okay. That, that does have to hear that clarification. Yes, just want to put that out there. Um, <laughs> anyone that has any ideas about things that need to change, let's start keeping a log when you're riding around town and you see something in a subdivision or whatever it is, you think, huh, why is it that way? Something would look better. Start writing it down. That way we remember and we can talk about it because we now know what all our regulations are, our design review manual, our, sub our zoning ordinances. We know what all they are now. Now it's time to start making the changes that we want to see to improve our community. So we need to start working on that and everything you see helps. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Ms. Shulis? Nothing for me. Thank you. Mr. Anderson? Uh, yes, two things for me. Number one, uh, based on what he just mentioned earlier there, uh, in driving around, I'm a retired general contractor, and if a general contractor has to uh, cut the public streets, he has to come in and do a compaction, put a subgrade down, and put a, uh, a sub-base asphalt down, and then come back and put a top coat and, and tamp it in that match the street. When the utility people come in, they dig a hole, throw some gravel in it, run up with a truck and throw some quick patch in, and you have a depression immediately. And if you go down Chester Road, it looks like a, a war zone, looks like some IEDs have been all through there. And that's from utility people over time. And uh, to me, it's terrible that they're allowed to get away with that. They do it here in Metro Nashville as well as they do here. But still, I think that's something, you know, talking about driving around the city and looking at stuff. And the second thing is the, uh, the, uh, the utility people, the, uh, the communication people and uh, uh, Comcast and, and AT&T, drive around and look at all the telephone poles. Looks like snake pits on every one of them. The old days, they kept them neat and straight and stuff. And now you got wires dangling every which way. They're not going to shock anybody other than for the aesthetics of it, but it's terrible. And I think those are two things that need to be addressed in the next year. So I'm long-winded on that, but anyway, it's food for thought. Thank you, sir. No, Mr. Sullivan, if you could make a note of that, is it good, you know, is there a repair requirement for utility cuts or things or maintenance requirements? And that can be one of our topics that we talk about. Mr. Power? Mr. Kelly? Nothing tonight. Walls? Uh, I just want to say Happy New Year to everybody and thanks for all that you all do and also go Titans. Right. Mayor Blade? Happy New Year. Looking forward to a great 2020. Mr. Jenkins? 
Nothing tonight, sir. Thank you, sir. I echo the Go Titans, and then also good luck to our uh, board commissioners this, these coming weeks as they got big decision with the new city manager hire. So I wish them luck, and I will accept a motion for adjournment. Motion to adjourn. Uh, I'll 